Hey, welcome back to the long run where we are playing Commander Keen Heroes Lost. Last time we got duped. Um, yeah, it turns out that uh, Mortimer Meyer hadn't been imprisoned for 18 years. He was in prison for 10 years, broke out, and came back just in time for us to save him so we can take him to Korath 3 and um, so that he can, you know, keep going with his plans. How long are we staying at Mars? I don't know, for as long as we need to. Side quest. Thought to be uninhabited, Mars is actually the home of the Yorps and Guards. Twenty years ago, Keen visited Mars in his newly made mega rocket, which was t then taken apart by the Vorticons under the control of the Grand Intellect. Mars is still a barren wasteland with very little to offer. Oh, is this still a Total Recall thing? I, I don't remember the last time I watched Total Recall. So, I don't remember her details. Anyway, here we are at Mars. Rabid York. Interesting that that York uh, took damage twice there. Yeah, there there are two extra damage ticks. That's weird. Oh, that was definitely a weakness. Wow. Anyway, now that we're alone again. That's a lot of love for Keen. What's this? It's a Vitonic. Oh. So there's like a cave here? Can't seem to interact with that. Things are very red, and I'm not sure they're supposed to be quite this red. I'll deal with that stretching posture when I'm not once I'm not in an active time battle. Oh, out of battery. Cool. Uh, this guy has a lot of health, I don't know if you know. That's another level up for Keen. Oh. I want to use item. Thank you. Charger. And potion. And stretch!
and hydrate. And one, and two, and one, and two. So I'm not really sure where we're going here. Well, there's a bunch of caves, but I can't seem to go into any of them. Is that three levels up in a row? I should probably use some potions here and charge her. I don't remember Mars being so rough. I'm just going to use a Vitonic. another level up. fire on the ice dude. Seems like the correct course of action there. Oh, light is your weakness. Pretty sure ice on the fire dude is correct though. It's just that, oh uh, yeah, ice because of uh, because of the gun in use, not doing as much damage.
and yet another level. Oh, sh Nike, that's Gargs. Get out of there. Oh, well, we found something. What does that say? Does anyone have an SGA key? Got it here. Uh, T M. T M. What's that last symbol? Oh, P T M P T M P. Oh, the Mars Project. This is it. The Mars Project. I wonder where that Shikai is. I'm here, Commander. Are you prepared? There will be no turning back once we enter. Well, if there's no turning back, I should probably say it beforehand. Uh, how are stats? Let's do it. We've saved, so yeah, and sure enough, can't leave. Pleasant. These statues look pretty menacing. Where is everyone? Did I skip something? Back plus and luck plus. Oh geez, we have to fight these things? Also, the Shikati Master is with us. I mean, it's a red. I'll buy that it's a, it's a fire pillar. There we go. Um. Let's check your equipment. We got a Shikati gun here and a Shikati helmet. And I'm like half inclined to grab these. Can I? Screw it, Billy gets the good stuff. I mean that—that's pretty much what I'm what I'm uh, going for here. 
was like, this is, this is the adventure of Commander Keen. <laughs> so I don't think Commander Keen is going anywhere. No, I don't think that's what. I'm just going to leave that as is. I'm going to save to slot 4, because we can't leave until we're done. And I forgot to charge my crap. Excuse me. Should not have used that charger before, by the way. Uh, I think your weakness is light. Not that we'll find out this turn. Out of chargers, so good luck, I guess. Well, that didn't take long at all. Nobody gets a level up out of that, though. Oh, yo. Another luck plus. Probably another act plus. These creepy bastards. Work must have a thing for gargs. Wait, something's not right. Oh dear. Those ain't statues. I need the Vitonic. damage from fire. Okay. Um. Okay, well they don't seem to have a whole lot of uh, HP anyway. Patient. There we go. 
And we got a pair of Itonics and a pair of levels up. And goodness knows, Shikari Master needs a Vitonic right now. Billy needs a charger right now, but uh, we don't have one of those. McMire! My god! Are those Vicknick's police officers? One of them is a Vorticon? What are you doing to them? You've come just in time, Commander. Right when I expected, you punctual son of a bitch. You expected us. Of course you did. You didn't think I would just let you leave, did you? I wanted you to see, Billy. I wanted this. Let him go, McMire. Oh dear. Good God, that was that's that's what happened to Lix. This is the final test. In exactly one hour, this is what will become of the intergalactic police and their entire planet. And without them, chaos. Lovely chaos. You're insane! Your plan was to kill an entire species? Why? To take over the galaxy? Why? Why did you destroy the Shikati homeworld? Why did you kill Leeks? Why did you let me save you? You idiot bastard! You, Commander Keen, are the sole force in this galaxy that is perfectly predictable. The only thing that I didn't count on was when you lied. When you lied to get me thrown in prison for ten years. So all of this, the destruction of Shakati Prime, the destruction of Vicknix, the death of Lakes, is just for you. It is my gift to you. After all, without me, who the hell is Commander Keen? You destroyed my homeworld, Genelec. You killed my family. Why would you do that? I was imprisoned, falsely. When I needed you most, my Shakati allies hid behind the Vicknix police. You watch as I was wrongly accused. Do you know what prison does to a man? I even gave your filthy species a second chance, but they wouldn't do it, even to save themselves. When you cross a man like, you are not a man, you're a monster, just like your pets in, the in these glass cases, you'll pay for this. You think I care whether or not I live to see what happens? You could kill me now and it wouldn't matter. This is my ultimate revenge, Billy. This is for you with no other reason. If I die, Vicknix dies. If I live, Vicknix dies still. You've lost, Commander. You've killed hundreds of people trying to get to me. You've justified your actions by me being your target. There is no way to rectify your past when my death is meaningless. I can get even. You killed my friend. You killed everyone at my school. You think all I care about is doing the right thing, some heroic gesture of justice. But you're wrong. I'm not a hero. This is vengeance. <laughs> and this is even a greater victory that I could hope for. I've made Commander Keen, defender of the, of the universe, a villain, a Machiavellian crusader, a bent on payback. You've lost your way, Billy. I find that delicious. Goodbye, Mortimer McMire. I'd say goodbye to Commander Keen, but you already killed him for me. Let us finish this. So that's a story dump that just happened. No, not weapon. Not weapon. Item. Use... Well, it's too late for that. Be great if I didn't have to fight with the minions. Sorry for the flashing.
I mean, I'm glad I can at least hold down the space bar to, uh, to speed through this, but like... I do kind of wish there was a way to just skip it. Use a Vitonic. Ah, uh, maybe I should just use a D-Shot. Uh, you know what? Keen is angry enough to use that D-Shot. I should not be using ice on Chikati Master, and then I died. And I can't go back. Well, we're gonna give this a few tries and see if we can just get through, but like, if I just keep dying all the time I'll just use the win code because like we can't go back so like that's that's an issue <laughs> wait full heal wasn't the code and also raise level yeah Let me see if I can find the read me fault as a oh okay, console command. Full stat. There we go. Sure. Just lock it straight off the bar and Kill my battery for no reason. Died again. I feel like maybe if I had gotten that second, uh, that second blast, maybe I would have actually stood a chance then. But um, then the accuracy bar just kind of rocketed off to the side and killed my battery for no reason. Definitely not gonna stand a chance if uh, if I just miss. Like, look how much damage he's doing. It's ridiculous. Definitely feel like I am supposed to be at a higher level for this. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I just reload a save. Um, where is the save? Okay, it's here. I'm just gonna win through these uh, these two fights that 
<laughs> we've already done. Actually, I just realized, are there any random battles here? There may not be. I'll run around for a second and see if there's anything. If there are no random battles, then we can't level up here. Yeah, I don't think there are. Fortunately, I saved before. Also, you're level 31. Like, that's... that's probably significant, right? If I... if you join my party... Then are you just gonna be level 31 no matter what level I am? Empty space taking 118 damage. <laughs> Killed him so hard it hit the floor. There we go. That's the crit I was looking for. Well, like, at minimum, I feel like I should still be uh, grinding for experience for as long as I keep getting a level every fight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Jewel. The Vitonic. Uh, I should probably use a Charger as well. Not sure if I need to use a Charger through where you don't know. Yeah, let's look around for items, I guess. Can we take on Gargs? Not if my thing does that. Now these guys have a lot of health. It's a bit concerning, honestly. Definitely gonna need to use a Vitonic.
Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? enough to fire my weapon and I'm missing Getting yet another entire level. Forgot to use a charger. Spicy shot right there. <sighs> okay, that's me being dumb again. Patience, Padawan. Fifty-eight, fifty. Oof. Now that's a crit. And that's another level. That's a mag plus, that's a house, that's a fish, that's a bee! I don't know that I would call them easy. They just have... Like... These guys don't do as much like, I don't know. They're. I feel like they're balanced. Anyway, we're not gonna get a level from this one. That's for damn sure. Also, in the spirit of trying to keep this as legit as possible, uh, I'm gonna head back to the bean with bacon, bacon, and uh, we'll go back to Vorticon and heal up. gonna save before entering the building as we've seen sometimes we have a, we have trouble leaving buildings
to the Mouse Troy Market and see if we can uh, get some potions. That's the arcade sector. Shop. Tell you to Stats on that advanced monster. 35, 32s. Okay, we currently have a stat rating of 35, but uh, heavily skewed toward fire, because that's the max fire gun. Okay, back to Mars. Did one of them just attack nothing? Here come the Gargs. The Gargs is the googly garg. Google gargle. Gargly googly. I am not making any sense. I realize that. That is on purpose. For the purpose of entertainment. Or something. Okay. Are you not entertained? I do something while we're uh, trying to build up some experience here. I'm entertained, I guess. Well, at least that's something. I really appreciate game if. Uh, I could actually get like a proper freezing. And that was a miss. Cool. Hopefully that does it. No? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to use an item here. Uh, potion 4, quick. Just don't die. The running jump does less damage than the uh, regular attack. Or maybe not. I don't know. There we go. Whew. 
Give me that Vitonic. Hey, Commander. Listen, could you do something about the noisy place up north? Nobody has any idea what's going on up there. Hey, Commander. It's good to see you around Mars again. Something strange is going on just north of here. Lots of ships landing and loud noises. Goodness, what's happening here? He was so young. Hello, Commander. We're holding a friend, uh, we're holding a service for a friend of ours, yells it. He was attacked by rabbit guards, but he got away. Only to become rabbit himself. We had to. We had to. Kill him. It was a merciful thing to do. Commander, we're a terribly unique species. We need to get rid of that guard. Yells it wasn't the first this has happened to. Please help us. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's worry about that later. What exactly am I in for? The rabbit guards don't usually spend any time in the daylight. They like to, hit, to hide out in groups in the caves. We need to lure them out of the caves to take them out. The last count was four different caves with rabbit guard families in them. Here's some bait. Have fun killing the guards. We'll see what we can whip up to repay you. Have fun killing the guards. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, so we just used the Viton, so we are good on health. I think that's it for this little town. Oh, we're back at the bean with bacon? Okay. Ah, uh, here's where we interact with the caves. Oh geez, there are three of them. I might just want to use a D-shot, actually. Make burning an entire battery, but like, that's a lot of dudes. Is there somewhere I can buy batteries? I probably can't go back to Earth right now. batteries in that shop. We probably don't want to go to Vicnix, honestly. Yeah, exactly. There's no way I'm going right to the police's door, plus it's way too far away. I don't think there was anything at Nausicaa's except for that one shot that didn't let us out. I'm gonna double check the Mouse Roy market, but I don't think there are any batteries there either. So, like, just for good measure right now, we'll, uh, equip a battery. Oh, that's even better than what we had, except that it's not charged at all. Is it? Oh, okay. 
gonna go use the free charger at the Maelstrom Ma Mansion. Well, free with an asterisk that it costs you to, to stay here. You know, I'm thinking about it now. I find it interesting that even after like 18 years or 20 years or however long it's been since we've been like to these places in particular that everyone still recognizes Commander Keen despite the fact that he's all grown up. So yeah, there's the helmet building shop here. So once again, we can make a kick-ass helmet. And once again, I think that costs like 90,000 IGC. Two nine two nine. Is he still wearing his signature helmet? No. Um, he's wearing this advanced helmet. The signature helmet is this one, which is not very good. But I'm also not selling. I will sell, however, the uh, the other helmet that we have, the standard one. Is that really just is taking up room? And the regular neural stunner, this ice ray. Also sold all of these level one chips. I'm gonna do that again. They got unsold when I had to reload the game. I mean, story-wise, well, I would imagine that like the equipment that we have on. Is you know, like there is not enough definition. Like the, there's not enough definition to like really show exactly what helmet uh, Billy's wearing, because like the way that the graphics work, and I'm sure that probably some of you in chat realize this already, but the way that the graphics work in Megazooks is that it is based on. Uh, DOS text mode, DOS text mode graphics. So, in regular uh, Megazooks mode, which this is, you can only have two colors per tile: a foreground color and a background color. So, you can't really tell, like, based on just the graphic, what helmet Commander Keen is wearing. But he definitely is wearing a helmet. I'm not sure if that was an answer to your question or not. It was just a collection of words that uh, were intended to approximate some sort of answer. Wait, do I have to, to do this one again? Okay, this cave is clear. I'm trying as much as possible to avoid overkilling with my weapon, because like that's just wasting battery at that point.
God damn it. Uh, that, that's kind of, it's kind of the balancing, like, what do I want to do? Wait? Really? What do I want to do? Waste battery or lose more health? Especially when it's so easy to miss in this game. Another level for Keen. Yeah, these potions three are not really worth keeping anymore. Maybe these guys don't have as much health. Yeah, okay. One shot took it out. And I got two Vitonics out of that. And another level. Cave. That's probably a miss. It sure is. I'm going to die. Let's use a Vitonic right now. I'm glad that this game has at least has um, auto saves. So, like, if I didn't think to save before the last fight, I don't lose a bunch of progress. That's one of the things that this game does right. Oh, their weakness is a light. I didn't realize that. Now, do I have enough? I have just barely enough for a light. And I miss. Break out the Vitonic, I guess. More Vitonics. Did we get two levels out of that? Yeah, we are uh, destroying face right now. Except when I miss. We continue leveling up every fight.
Yeah, I'm really hoping that um, the Vorticon commander, uh, the Shikati commander, ra rather, um, like when when I was level 33 and he joined, he was level 31. I'm hoping that it's just a matter of like he will always be two levels less than you. Turret. Boom. Use these potions three. Uh, we only have... Okay, we have two charges. I'm going to use one of them. We are starting to amass a fair amount of Vitomics, though, and that's... that's good. Okay, and that just leads to a dead end with uh, the Mars Project. I think we've cleared three now. There's the bean with bacon. We need to go north. No, that's just a dead end. We got that cave. I'm pretty sure we're still missing one. Guard. You know, it'd be kind of silly though if, like, one of these caves contained a pogo stick. And finally, we've cleared a battle and not gained a level. Nope, I didn't want to hit that one. I'm good at this game. I'm good at bad your game. I definitely gonna need to use a white on after this. Oi. Potion three ain't gonna do it. That's a miss. Ah, 
Oh, come on. Don't mind if I get two Vitonics for that uh, effort and immediately use one of them. So that should be all. And let's go back to the to the York Village. Hundred thousand HP. Bring me a hundred thousand XP. He died at his own attack. Also, I feel like these guys are uh, granting more experience. Which is strange. I don't. Maybe they're getting stronger as well, like leveling, leveling up with me or something? I don't know. It's weird. Why am I so impatient? Like, I don't get it. Like, I've played Kikan. Mind you, that was like a thousand years ago. But that game definitely had like a timing based uh, combat system. I remember being a lot better at that than I have been at this. Great job, Commander. Well, I'll be a lot, a whole lot safer now. Here, we found an old weapon chip you might want. Oh, that gave us another diamond chip. So that's something that we're going to be able to give to uh, the Shikadi uh, Commander so that he can just abscond with it once we've finished this, uh, this quest. Go back to Vorticon here and heal up. Hey Timmy, how you doing? How you doing on this extremely snowy night? The filth snow. Yeah, that's about how I feel about it too. Also, we've gained, like, a million levels on Mars. Hmm. 
I mean, I, I can guarantee you, you don't, you don't want to look outside right now. I am looking outside. I have my curtain open. Um, and quite frankly, there is nothing to see. By which I mean, I can't see outside. You about doubled your level? Yeah, that's about right. You played Keen Dreams when you were a kid? Well, uh, this is a fan game that was created in the uh, game creation system Megazooks. And it pulls from all of the Keen games, I think, maybe including the Game Boy Advance game, and also maybe including the the 7, 8, and 9 fan games, of which Zero here, uh, who's in chat, um, has played um, Keen 7. I mean, also uh, Dreams and uh, 4, 5, and 6. Not necessarily in the correct order. Yeah, Megazooks was uh, originally released in 1994, I think, by Software Visions uh, for DOS, and it is still in development today. In fact, just before the end of the year, uh, a new version was released. Probably use some of these potions three here. It's filling up our limited inventory. Ah, oh, Wolfenstein 3D, classic game. I'm not much for for uh, shooters myself, but uh, I will not deny that. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D definitely raised the bar, and then Doom raised it further. It doing a lot of work there. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, and the Shikati Master does join at uh, two levels under whatever Commander Keen is. And yes, I am stealing his weapons. <laughs> Re-equip. It's a very finicky uh, interface, I will say that. Stick that diamond chip in there. I guess 50 is the level for this then. We're, we're gonna hope. This slot four because we can't leave. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, I guess. Oh, shoot, I don't have battery. Okay. We got a Vitonic out of that fight, so uh, maybe worth using that right now. Eh, I don't know, because Keen doesn't have a whole lot of health deficit, so maybe I'll just do physical attacks for now.
Ow. And of course, completely with that. Everyone's battery pretty much dumpstered right now. Up we go. These luck and act pluses. Let's go fight these Garg statues again. Let's see how this goes this time. Just great start. Okay. Even better continuation. goodness. Just in case you're not aware how it works to me, you see that box that says hit, miss, hit, miss, whatever. Basically it changes randomly and you have to press when the box says hit or crit. And if it says miss, well... That's too bad, I guess. Uh, let's check everyone's health. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the health display is a little broken, isn't it? I don't think that's supposed to say 108,164. I don't think I'm supposed to be level 50. <laughs> I'm sorry to skip through this uh, epic uh, cutscene here that's happening, but uh, we've seen it already. Basically it comes down to Mortimer McMyers trying to get revenge on Commander Keen for uh, imprisoning him for 10 years, and Commander Keen is trying to get revenge on Mortimer McMyer for destroying his entire college. with this level 50 loadout. Oh jeez. Like how do we how do we 
me fight this? What the hell? I don't know if this is meant to be like a puzzle boss or something. But we just we just did like 50,000 damage. And uh, that still wasn't enough. Item Vitonic. Didn't want to use D shot. Oh. And Vitonic. Okay, I guess. And then I miss. Okay, cool. And we're just gonna die. Okay, we avoided death for a second. bar is still going up really fast. Like, he's frozen. How much health do you have? I, I entirely agree, Zero. This, uh... Am I expected to make a ridiculous weapon? I'm gonna say this, my enthusiasm for this game is, uh, dwindling. It's like, I like it, but I'm also getting to not really like it. It also concerns me the fact that, like, no, oh my.
yeah, the story is really good, and like the the graphics are really good for for 2012. And then there was that uh, that like little mini game, the arena shooter thing that was super fun and really innovative for its time. But then you get to this like the the menus are hard to get through. Like, you're fighting the interface almost as much as you're fighting the actual enemies. You keep... Well, I keep missing because I'm not patient. Like, you have to be patient, but being patient in... Like, it's not intuitive to be patient in an active time battle combat. You know what I mean? I'm also getting potion threes from these guys. Hey, you know what vibe I'm getting from the Morty McMire fight? Elnar boost. I feel like it is scaling to your level. But it's scaling faster than you are. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna keep going here for a little bit, and let's let's I don't know get to level 70 or something, because these guys seem to be scaling as well. Because like we keep gaining entire levels from these fights. And like they they seem to never get any easier. Like, we're doing more damage, but they're getting more health. So I'm gonna keep going for a little bit, and, uh, and then we'll try again, and if... If it's just still too hard, I'll be, I'm just gonna use the game code. I would rather not. But if I feel like I have to... If we're if we're at this point, the point is there to leveling leveling when all the bosses and enemies level with. Like it wasn't it wasn't the case until we got to Mars. Like, there was some definitive progression, and then we get to Mars, and it just... It feels like everything is getting stronger as we're getting stronger, and... Ugh. And I missed. And I don't have enough matter to try again. I'm pretty much gonna have to use either a charger or a vitonic because like I can't really handle there being two of them and taking hits from two enemies when I can't fight back. And I missed again, because the friggin' bar keeps going all over the place. Like, do I have control over it? I don't know. I... <sighs> That's the third time I missed this fight. Sometimes I can go, like, big stretches and no problem at all. But I just missed four times in a row.
Missed again. I do find it interesting that like it remembers the point in the song that it was and actually like picks up from there. Are there any are there any fights on the screen or do I have to go back to screen for that? Can see any other fights? Gotta be a miss again. Yep. I, I am I am at that point right now. I don't feel like the game is fighting fair. Yeah, I've I've definitely done this fight before and it didn't give me like eight thousand. You know what? Yeah, save there. Um I'm gonna reload this. Let's see what happens. Also, thanks for blinding us every goddamn time we come here. It's like we get the point at this point, like I I can get to level 70. It's not particularly interesting to watch me get to level 70. So missed again and like there's a thing like his, his attack drains battery I'm still having to fight with the interface to do what it is that I want to do and half the time I fucking miss my attack anyway like I tried to use weapon it jumped right to item and then I'm having to fight with this shit. No, weapon. I 
I did meant to use Death Shot. Health do you have? Hey Zenf. Yeah, this is Megazooks, alright. Better or worse. I was having a lot of fun until this part of the game. Where I'm having to cheat profusely in order to even stand a fucking chance. Yeah, definitely doing a lot more damage now. Like, look at that. 3,000 3, damage. Like, up to 3,000 damage per attack. Every turn. And there's no way to... Uh, there's actually no way to know if his HP is scaled up because we don't know how much HP he has. Enter. Thank you. If we still can't, like, I'm getting the vibe that, like, this is the final boss. Maybe that's part of why this is so hard. Maybe I'm missing some other story beat that I needed to do first that would have given me a better chance of actually doing this legitimately. I don't know. The game did not give me any sort of direction, and this is not the sort of game that, like, that would not give you direction. So we just did 140,000 points of damage. Yeah, and the the and then his damage output is yeah, he's now he's blasting at 6k. Like, this is Elmar boost up the wazoo. Jewel, we don't use that word. Okay. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's set our level to 1 and see what happens. I'm gonna have to get through this. Well, I guess I don't have to. levels. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm just not doing any damage. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about how I expected that to go. Okay, that one was just that that one was funny. But I give up. I am super done with this. I'm going to assume that this is the last boss. Let's just finish this. We can get the rest of the story and we can move on to something else next time, probably. Oh, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, actually, what if? That was the trick all along. And still took 6,000 points. That, like, that was us at level 1. And Morty still took 6,000 points of damage. But yeah, that, that was kind of silly. Uh, I wish I didn't have to cheat to win that fight. I don't understand. Some big project bent on killing an entire race and there's not another living soul in this building. What's going on? He killed my people because they wouldn't have they wouldn't make him a weapon that would destabilize the universe. Would anyone do that? If so, who did he find? And why would the base why would why would the base the project on oh uh, why would they base the project on Mars? There's no strategic advantage in this place. Commander, as much as we want answers to these questions, we need to go to Vicknix and see the damage. See if we can do anything. I'm a wanted man, Mr. Shikati Master. I have done terrible things to get there, not the least of which was trust McMire. Don't know if I'm welcome on Vicknix. Commander, this is what McMire wanted. He wanted to see you become him. You must do the right thing, and in, in doing so, spite the grand intellect. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. If whatever's left of the intergalactic police tries to arrest me, you'll, vou you'll vouch for me, right? Of course, Commander. Commander, have you ever considered promoting yourself? You've been at the rank of Commander for almost 25 years. I haven't been Commander Keen for 18 of those 25 years. I don't think I've earned anything from anyone. Things I've done. Well, nobody, owes, nobody owes me anything. I don't need to be a captain of anything. Whether or not you think you deserve it, people look up to you. People look up to you. The least you can do is let them know you care. I do care, but I know looking up to me is a bad idea. If eight-year-old me met this guy, he'd probably throw him in prison. We're coming up on Vicknix. It looks... It looks like... Nothing happened at all. Billy Blaze, aka Commander Keen, there was an outstanding warrant for your arrest. I thought... I was coming to save you. You are charged with the genocide of the Shikari, in, uh, instigating and facilitating a large-scale maximum security prison escape, aiding and abetting a criminal, frame-up and perjury, assassination of the, Vor of the Vorticon High Commander, and finally and most importantly, the murder of Police Ex Inspector Licks of Vignes. Wow, that list got long fast. I don't suppose you care that I tried to save your world? We can't trust you anymore, Commander. You've gone rogue. You fools. He did not kill the Vorticon High Commander. He did not destroy my species. You dare challenge this man's honor. He has no doubt saved all your lives more than once. 
Save your breath, Mr. Sh Mr. Shikati. You are charged with conspiracy to commit genocide and attempted murder. I... came to save. <laughs> that clever bastard. He didn't even put the bomb here. He... he set me up one last time. Commander, let us dispatch these fools and leave. There is nothing to gain from letting, these, uh, letting them accuse us of these atrocities. You can leave, Mr. Shikari Master, but this is what separates me from Mort. I'm willing to pay for what I've done. Commander, go! Why don't you leave? You can quite obviously get away whenever you like. I doubt that Vignik's command would even pursue you. You've been a hero, Commander. We're all under debt. I wouldn't be a hero if I ran from what I've done. I won't be a hero in present either. I'd prefer to pay for my crimes and live knowing I didn't. It's already good enough for me. Very well then, Commander. Take him away. Prison doesn't suit you, Commander. I disagree. Oh, it's uh, Master. Guess you're here to break me out of something. Oh, cool. I guess I got some uh, editing to do. I don't know why sometimes when I delete a message, it just stays there forever. But Jewel, please do not use words like that because I don't want to have to do this work for one thing. And also it's not a good word to use. I realize where it came from. Don't use that. Anyway, also you should have let me know sooner that the message wasn't going away. You, you're usually on point for that. I suppose I could, but you don't want that. You were pretty adamant about your staying last time I was here. I figured you'd like to know what's going, out, what's going on outside your little prison cell. This isn't my cell. It's Mortimer, Mortimer McMire's cell. Ah, yes, of course. I thought you should know that... I was found where the bioweapon was set off. Budokan 6, where government was destroyed. That man had an obsession with messing with the Vorticons, didn't he? The new Vorticon government has declared war on Earth. Apparently those loyal to the Grand Intellect have seized power once again and are seeking vengeance on the world that killed him, yours. Perhaps they are. Perhaps they need some sort of space hero. I guess they could use one of those. The cell was a little cramped anyway. Let's go. Well, that's Commander Keen here is lost. Um, short game, to be sure. Uh, all music, graphics, engines, and story by The Deep Row. Music? On point. Graphics? Really good. The story? Actually kind of interesting. And doing things that I wasn't, you know, expecting. The engines? Lost me. Uh, Jewel, don't even bother. Like, if there are secrets, one, you're not going to find them with a Google search for almost sure, and two, I can't be arsed at this point. Like, there might be some more stuff to, uh, to figure out here. Like, there might be some item that I needed to find in order to make that fight more uh, manageable. I don't know. 
but like the the entire time I really felt like I was fighting against the interface and I don't know it really didn't seem like there was anything you missed like there there were those two planet entries that we never saw and there probably is something that I missed but I don't know I I, I just the way that like with 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 like the entirety of Mars really just kind of lost me. We we've seen the end of the story at this point. At least what seems like the end of the story. Maybe there is some sort of divergent path, I don't know. MF had says he had a uh, I would doubt 120 million. I don't think it I don't think it scales quite the the way that you think it scales. But, um, yeah. If, if there was something else here, great. Someone else can come in and discover it. As it is, it's end of stream time anyway, and I'm good calling it there. So... Uh, thank y'all for watching. Thank you, Zero J Pop, Jewel, Tyrion, Zinf, Timmy for hanging out. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, where hopefully someone finishes, because no one did last weekend. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel to our next. Um, long run next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time where um, we take on Jules' request and uh, hot on the heels of Lufia 1, we're going to be playing Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. Uh, and just to be clear, I am not taking any requests for any more Lufia games at this time. They will be turned down. We're going to do Lufia 1, Lufia 2, and then um, if I do any more Lufia games, that's going to be for the future. Um, and I will be using a patch for it, by the way. We're not going to be doing uh, vanilla Lufia 2. I don't know if I'm going to be using Fru Lufia or if I'm going to be going all the way and using the Fru Trilogizer. But. Um, one of those two. Probably the Trilogizer, because it, it'll probably bring some of the names to be consistent. Yeah, uh, brings the names cons consistent with Lufia and the Fortress of Doom Restored, and Lufia the Legend Returns Complete. So if we ever get to Legend Returns, there's also a patch for that. Anyway... So that's gonna do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.